What is going on, Balsam? I shouldn't even be talking about it. But, but you're here to talk about it, no, aren't but you? I can't. And I shouldn't. Here, here well, sit down. You okay? I, I, I gotta do something. I, I, I can't just stand here and not do anything. Look, I... you have to help me save Rex. You're Rex Balsam's mother. And you're his father. Okay, look, I don't know what you're trying to claim, but I don't even know you. Of course you don't. And of course you're not his father. But I need you to say that you are. I'm not even going to ask why. Couldn't tell you anyway. But it's a matter of life or death. I think I'm going to stay out of this one. Even if you knew you could prevent a train wreck? Maybe you should find somebody else to play the part. It's a little too late. You've been cast. I already told my kid, you're the guy. Rex thinks that I'm his father? Yeah, and he's real jazzed about it, too. Well, what about his real father? We don't talk about that bastard. And Rex is never to know the truth. Nobody is to know the truth. Listen, I got to admit, I was a lame excuse for a mother, and I dumped him with my sister-in-law who raised him, and, man, I just didn't have my act together, but I sucked it all up, I got it together, and now we're doing really groovy, Rex and me. Well, you were until you lied just now. Yeah, and he can't find out about that, okay, because it's going to be over, and my whole life is going to be over. Hey, Roxy, I would like to help. Really? So you'll do it? No, that's no, not what no, I'm no, saying. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Well, I don't think you understand what it's like for a kid to hate you. Okay, and that's exactly what's going to happen. And I don't want to lose my son. Forever. I assume, then, you're also going to punish Jessica's husband in some way, since he did give his full cooperation. Pack your bag. Hell, he got off on it, actually, having his own wife committed. Okay. We're not... We're just talking about you now, Jared, all right? As guardian of this house, and out of respect to Asa, I cannot allow you to stay here any longer after what you just did to Asa's granddaughter. I am Asa's son. Doesn't son trump granddaughter? From the day you arrived in Landview, both of my daughters have suffered a great deal because of you. And that's going to come to an end right now. So, you have an hour to get your stuff together. No more free ride. May I chime in here? What? What are you... What are you doing here? Nigel let me in. Well, Nigel can let you out because you're just not welcome here, Dorian. I did not come here to see you, Clint, or your charming paramour. I came here to see Jared. I want to talk to him about his father. I don't know why anyone would want to stay in St. Anne's any longer than they have to. St. Anne's? Miles! Hello? Hi. Hey, yeah, my, uh, there's some very strange misunderstanding, and my sister ended up there. It's temporary. What happened? Basically, Jessica was pretending to be Tess. And it blew up in her face. My name is Jessica. And your other name is Tess. First Vicky, then Nikki, then Jess. Then Tess, Apple didn't fall far from the tree now, did it? You're right. I did have DID. And then I was treated, and now that part of my life is over. Your mama thought the same thing, too, didn't she? But Nikki popped in and out like a cuckoo clock. No pun intended. It's true. My mother's treatment did take longer than mine. Nikki had a lot of secrets, and she was harder to put down. Not unlike you, Allison. <laughs> Honey, there is only one of yours truly, and that is more than enough. But you do have some secrets to tell, don't you? 